Okay, we're gonna do Aries. What Aries needs to know during this full moon. I'm just gonna switch cards really quick because I, uh, I feel like I need to clean that other deck um, at this point. I've been using it since last night and it's starting to feel a little bit funky. I also need to cleanse myself today. I'm feeling a little funky, heavy emotions. What does Aries need to know during this full moon? What messages do you have for Aries? Oh, my leg is going down. Just a sec. You can see all my shit in the back. Sorry about that. <laughs> Come on, what does Aries need to know? Um, okay, there's not a lot of forward direction here. We have the Wheel of Fortune, like, in reverse. You might be feeling stagnant during this time, that things aren't evolving the way you need them to. Money looks very good if you're working on a new project, if you are, are own your own business, or if you are concerned about finances, they look very, very positive during this time. Yeah, you're you're working on something. You're building somewhere. Looks very good for uh, money. Very, very good for money. You're finding balance. Um, so, you are moving forward with something, even though the Wheel of Fortune is in reverse. Um, we have the Six of Wands, so you're marching into something new and positive, okay? Let's see what that's going on here. Um, you might be walking away from a lover, because the lovers in re lovers is in reverse. You may be taking this time now to be uh, by yourself and work on yourself. Yes, with change. We have the death card here, could be a Scorpio. Um, you are making necessary changes, I believe for you. Not, not. this is clearly not a change of jobs, but um, it could be a change of uh, romantic situation for sure. We have the page of pentacles in reverse. So, um, you know, whatever maybe you used to watch this person or they used to watch you or they used to communicate more with you that is now at a halt and the moon is in reverse so this isn't something you didn't see coming this was you know this was a well-known fact and I think you've been aware of it for quite some time and you had to really take it probably had to like really think about it and use your intuition as to whether or not this was the best choice for you um, so the tower is in reverse Aries with the 10 of pentacles. So I feel like, and there's lack of messages and the lovers is in reverse here again with the two cups is in reverse again too. So, um, there's a tower moment you're not allowing to happen that is going to bring you the ultimate happiness. I don't know what this tower moment is. We will try to clarify what it is, but, um, please know when I see the tower in reverse, I feel like now you're not letting something uh, and that needs to end. Could be a Sagittarius. It is um, about balance, temperance. So again, you're finding stability over here, but you're not allowing some sort of, perhaps the, perhaps this is an ending you're trying to um, not allow to happen or change that, you know, with the death card that you're not allowing to happen because um, if you can, if you can get to that level of just allowing the universe to take effect, you're going to have like the best positive outcome. And um, we have strength on the bottom and the three of wands. I would say my advice to you is um, allow it to happen. Allow the tower to fall and um, wait for the positive outcome. Change sucks really does it's like painful and weird and uncomfortable but once it's done and over with we feel really good about it I um, was just saying this on another uh, read that hold on I'll show you that oops I'm sorry I have a squirrel in my bra hold on um, crap this must be another way I can show you I just got this stone yesterday 
So I am also uh, resisting change at the moment because um, I like to second guess myself constantly. And so I went and got this stone that's supposed to help with change. It's similar, it's not um, It's not Moldavite. I know a lot of people are just gonna assume that. I used Moldavite one time. Um, that's not a really positive stone for me, but it did work in my benefit because I ended up in a divorce that needed to happen that I was resisting. So um, whatever this stone is, it's Agni something or other. Um, I'm hoping even if it seems like it's going to bring me a lot of disappointment and unhappiness in the long run it's going to serve me because I like to resist change quite a bit as well so <laughs> I hope this helps